Young farmers, ranchers, and ag professionals filled this room in Lake Charles. They are here for the 2022 Louisiana Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers Leadership Conference. Louisiana Farm Bureau Young Farmer and Rancher Chair Vincent Canatella says these events are great for networking with your peers in agriculture. We have a lot of new faces, which is great. We are looking for more people to get involved. Hopefully the new people we have here today will go out and branch out and bring newer members next year and later on down the future to have us a strong membership base. This room is dialed in for Dr. Kevin Folta, a microbiologist from the University of Florida. He's talking about how far agricultural technology has come and how important it is for young farmers who use that tech to engage in the conversations about it. Dr. Folta says a great way for these farmers to do that is simply sharing information and posts from others who share your opinions. Find other people that share your view and simply share their information with your networks, either through Facebook or Twitter or any kinds of social media. I believe that if everybody in agriculture, scientists, farmers, and all the associated industries were to invest about five to 15 minutes a week, we could radically change the perception of agriculture. This event was not just meetings in a hotel conference space. The group also visited and tasted some Louisiana spirits from Bayou Rum. Canatella says the social aspect of the conference is important to build those lifelong friendships that you find in this organization. It's a great organization to be in to make lifelong friends and network for your line of business if you're in ag, whether you're, you're actually farming ranching or you're just in the sales division of agriculture or, or even the lending division of agriculture. You'll make contacts here and friends here that'll last you your life. More than 50 young farmers and ranchers attended this year's conference. If you would like to learn more about the Louisiana Farm Bureau Young Farmers and Ranchers program, head over to our website at twilatv.org. And you guys, I left the group after this tour was over at Bayou Rum, but I can only assume that after, after the tour, things got a little more fun with the group. I mean, they were already having a good time, but... You can see in the story, you know, you know what happens at Bayou you think, Rum. You think they loosened up a little bit? Probably a little bit. That Just, line to get the goodies at that uh, distillery was so long because I stood in line. As someone who may have sampled Bayou Rum a few times. Maybe this? Maybe. Wait, there's some missing out of that bottle. I didn't <laughs> touch this. It's still no. <laughs> sealed. This is for you. I brought oh, back wow. goodies. Thank you. And you, Kristen, you always see, ask. You followed What'd you bring pool. me? I brought you some spiced rum. Go back to your college days, maybe. Who knows? Woohoo! Look at that. Well, hang so, on to this until we get off the set. You can always count on me to bring something back. I'm learning from Neil's mistakes. Uh -huh. Ah, see, he can't be getting taught. bonus points, bonus points. There you go. A little something extra in your check. Thank you very I'll much, Carl Wiggers. Yeah. Well, if you'd like your own goodies from Bayou Rum, Carl brought back enough for you, too. We're doing a giveaway on our Facebook page, so be sure to follow us, and we'll post how you can win an awesome prize pack from Bayou Rum. Keep in mind, you must be 21 mm -hmm. to win, but we'll link you over to that on our website at twilatv.org.